So we'll open up this wee pipe. Let it flow. <laughs> are fairly red up a good bit of their silage so I gave them enough for two days which I'd say is nearly right and um, obviously this pen's got more left in it just because there's a much fewer number in here that's just the singles but the rest them seem to be about right I think so I'll push this in about just now and then get another mix on the go just away to bed the new shed for the weekend so um, this is the first bed that I've got, so I'm a bit worried that the yows are going to go absolutely mental when they hear the bedder start, but hopefully it'll be alright. Got the mixer wagon on at the moment, so give them a fresh mix. So, yeah, pressure's on. So the empty buckets are going in the pens. Um, for just now because we haven't got the water system set up so they'll just get a bucket of water and a bucket of silage and then I'm putting out fresh lifeline buckets for all the yows as well in each of the sections just to make sure they've got everything because the last thing I want is lambing sickness. So it's such a lovely day, I'm going to take Tara out to our six Texel hogs that we've got. Fine quiet, we trained Roxy on Texel, because I know that's probably not <clears throat> the breed of choice that a lot of people would suggest, but hey ho. So I'm just going to take her out now and give her a spin and see how badly this goes. Also, disclaimer, I, uh, I'm not a professional, I'm not a dog trainer. I've just been picking up tips from Davy, <laughs> so yeah, don't judge me. Stand. Come by. Come by. Stand. Shh. 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 Come by. Come by. Shh. Shh. Stand, stand. Away, away. Shh, shh. Stand, stand. Away. Stand. Shh, shh. Walk on. Shh, walk on. Shh, shh. Stand, away. Stand, stand. So as you can see, she's full of beans. She doesn't really miss much, just like her mother. Um, but just trying to get her to learn her sides and learn to stand. Um, she's very, very keen. So if we can crack that down, that'll definitely help. And then these are some of my Texel yow lambs or hogs. Um, these are the ones I clipped myself. So these were all born this time last year. They're nothing fancy, I know that. I'm not big into pedigree Texels or anything like that. So they're just a nice commercial Texel. Um, don't have the huge big blocky head that that breed's now getting. But they do fine for me. They're just to breed my commercial tops. So do my job. They do fine. Stand. Stand. Come by. Shh. 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 Come by. Shh. Shh. Walk on. Shh. Walk on. Shh. Shh. Stand, stand, away, away, stand.
Walk on. Walk on. Shh. Stand. 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 Shh. Walk on. Shh. Walk on. Shh. Walk on. Good kiddo. She's not too bad at coming off them. Um, she's quite quick, so you have to be quite quick and get in between her and the sheep. But you did well. You stinker. Like I say, I'm no professional. Please don't judge me. <laughs> or my sheep. <laughs> Good girl. Just need to keep on top of her. Hopefully she'll be fine. Five lambs at the moment, so they'll drink all of this just now, and the same again three times a day, maybe slightly less at lunchtime. Just back to feed them three times a day, but I'm hoping to get the machine set up ASAP because it's much more natural for them and it saves me a lot of time. So I'll just take the spare bit up in a jug and just top up the bottle once one of them is drunk a bit. for the pet lambs is probably worth about three grand. I'm trying to be very very careful when manoeuvring it and not wanting any spillages. So we've got the milk machine down uh, and the milk powder obviously beside it but we haven't got it set up yet. So milk machine, this milk machine I think can have up to 180 lambs on it. Um, you can get slightly bigger ones but that's, well, we felt that was big enough at the moment. I mean, we did have 180 something lambs last year. So she was sort of pushed to her max, but um, yeah, absolutely fantastic bit of kit. Wouldn't look back now. Um, it's definitely worth every penny. So much more natural for the lambs um, in terms of they can come and go whenever they please, a bit like a yow. It's always fresh, it's warm, and it doesn't separate out like some 
um, other systems do. Um, just small quantities at a time, about 500 mils. So you put your bag of milk powder in here and then there's got a boiler in there. Um, and then that's the jug it mixes into. I'll show it better when it's all going, but your powder's in here and then it comes out of this wee slot here. Water comes out the boiler into this jug here. And then it you set how much water and what temperature, you set how much milk powder, and then it just puts it out, pours it into this wee jug. It gives it a wee mix with that whisk at the bottom. And then you put your pipes on here and put them to your, your pens wherever you need them. And then also if you need hot water, you can shut it off a second, tip that out of the way, get hot water. Or if you need to take milk that's already made, you just tip that into a wee jug. So it's very helpful in that sense. As I expected, Davy was not happy with the positioning of it. So the milk powder is now over here. IBC is here and you can see it's filling up and the machine is now here. So we've got our pens along the back and then the machine's gonna be in the middle. And then as and when we get more pets, we will put pens along this side. So yeah, we're just trying to weigh out the water to milk, make sure the ratio is right, calibrate the machine, um, and yeah, get the lambs onto it because you can hear them in the background, they're hungry. First mix done. So open up this wee pipe. Let it flow. <laughs> that was Davy in case anyone's wondering. <laughs> Davy's just drawing it to the teats now. And then we'll let the pets at it and hopefully they'll just take to it straight away. There we go, first one on, second one on. That's how easy it is. Don't even even have to go in the pen. So our blacksmith has adapted these gates for us, um, so we can fit the sheep drinker bowls in there. We ended up having to make our own because the company that I had first approached about them. Um, long story short, we're not getting them now. So. These are what we've come up with. So I've got the drinkers have all arrived. So we need to get the pipe set up, get the drinkers bolted on, and then set up along the back wall, ready to go. So these are the drinker gates now in position. So this trough, it's not bolted in yet obviously, but it'll be bolted in. And then the pipe will be connected to another hose pipe and then the idea is that the sheep just push against that and then the water comes out fills the bowl they take as much or as little as they want so hopefully that works two yows either side of the pen can get access to it if this works it'll save a hell of a lot of buckets so we're trying it out this this side this year and we'll see how we get on so you can just see a wee string there See the first water bags off. She's one of my older girls, so she's well experienced. And just like that, we have our first lambs born in our new shed. Many more to come. That's it for this video. Thanks again for watching and I hope you've enjoyed it and we'll see you for the next one.